Oh, hey guys, how you doing? I didn't see you standing there. <laughs> hey, anyway, yes, yeah, so this is, uh, I knew you were there the whole time. It's Rick out at the NJP studio. Yes, we're in the studio. Look, you can tell. Uh, we're at the uh, recording console. What the heck are we doing in here? And furthermore, why do I have the pink zebra striped scissors in my hand? Well, we all know what the pink zebra striped scissors means. It means it's an unboxing day. And uh, yeah, I can't, uh, I haven't done an unboxing on this channel in a very long time. So I figured, what the heck, why not? It's the 11th of April, 2020. Everybody's kind of cooped up and locked in and getting cabin fever. And uh, I'm still getting deliveries in the mail. You know, big, big time salute, kudos to the delivery people and to the people in the stores that are out there working and stuff. You guys are the ones on the front line. I absolutely support you guys. I salute you and... Uh, yeah, I wish there was more I could do to help you guys out. But uh, anyway, we just got a couple more weeks to go. We're going to be going back to work here anyway. So, um, you know, it's all good in the trailer hood. But anyway, that's not why we came here today. Uh, I'll be talking about that in the live stream tonight, I'm sure. So what did I get? I've got a box of something. Oh, boy. This looks like... And, you know, I don't know why I scratched the address and everything. You guys all know where I live anyway. I mean, you know who I am, you know. <laughs> so, so why do I even bother scratching out the address? I don't know. But uh, just in case, I suppose, I don't know what, whatever's going on here. But uh, anyway, um, oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I, yeah, forget the camera's not pointed down this way. Let me, I think I've got, do a, one or two more here. I've got this one here to cut yet. There's one and one down there. There we go. All right. And you guys didn't see the last one either. All right, all the tape is cut on this thing. What did I get this time to add to my collection? I've only got 18 guitars as it is, so what do I really need another one? Well, to be honest, this is a, a guitar type that I've been waiting on and actually wanting to have for a very, very long time. Many years, literally. So um, let's do the big reveal. Everything is cut open and ready to go here. So uh, I'm going to pop the top off of this thing. You guys are seeing this for the first time as well as I am. So there it is. We have, uh, let me get rid of this. We'll put this over here. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. We'll just keep it over there. And uh, we have a case, which uh, it's not really a case, kind of a gig bag. And um, yeah, about that. Uh, I'm not going to keep a guitar like this in a bag like this. It's just a piece of nylon, basically. It's a nylon bag. So uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I know, I know. Even in these times, I still get that going on. But um, Okay, what else we got here? A piece, piece of foam rubber. Uh, styrofoam is busted. Um, honestly, it wasn't very well packaged for what it is, but I guess, you know, it's sufficient. We have a accessory package uh, containing, it uh, looks like as a, oh, it's a, it has a hole in it. That's what it has. <laughs> it's got it's a zip top on the top and it's cut open on the bottom. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, it, I'm surprised it held together. Got a, a whammy bar. Hmm. I don't use those real often. There's a, a pick in there. Uh, and the uh, cable, uh, guitar cable, which I'll never use. And, uh, and an Allen wrench, which I might use because this is uh, you know, for adjusting truss rods and so forth like that. Why am I holding it up to the microphone? I'm holding it up to the camera. There we go. That's the uh, thing. And uh, as for the rest of this stuff, well, I've got 27 guitar picks around, and that feels more like a bass pick than a guitar pick. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take this stuff and there we go. <laughs> Back at it again. I know, I know, guys. I know, I know that uh, you know some things just never change. We got a rubber band around this end of it, so I'm trying to undo this without. Well, we'll just drop that in there, and let's do uh, the headstock reveal. What do you guys think this is? What do you think this is? Before you before you watch the rest of the video, post in the comments what you think this guitar is. What is this? Some of you guys probably already know, but uh, okay, I'm looking in there and looking in there and looking in there, and there's no brand name on this. So, uh, but the shape of the headstock is going to give it away. For those of you who are guitar people, you know already what this is. It's a uh, Stratocaster, guys. A copy of a Fender Stratocaster. I've wanted a Strat for so many years, I can't even tell you guys. And there's the broken piece of foam that came off. But, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, let's see what the rest of this machine looks like. Whoops, I'm ripping the daylights out of it. Oh, man, the finish feels really smooth in there. And it looks like it might be blue, maybe. Hmm. Let's get rid of this box here. We'll just... Uh, 
Oh, and there's another item in there that I'm not going to be using, a, a little strap. Anybody who needs a guitar strap, let me know. I'll mail this out to you. be more than glad to uh, cover it. But it's in the package, brand new. Never been used, never will be used, because I have uh, other guitar straps that I use. So uh, if you want this, let me know. I'll send it off to you. Not a big deal. All right. Although the last time I did something nice for somebody, I got in a lot of trouble for it. So I'm not sure exactly how that worked out. But um, actually, no, I didn't get in trouble. I, Nice guys do finish last, but, you know, I'm not a nice guy, so, uh, <laughs> all right, I am going to uh, set this down where you guys cannot see what I'm doing. I know you can't see that this uh, plastic wrap is being really obstinate with me, and there we go, now it's open. <laughs> all right, all right, let's just, <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Oh, God. I, sorry guys, I didn't mean to hit you guys in the face there. That's, that was kind of rude to do that. All right, let's, um, geez, this stuff is so unruly. Let's get rid of this now. Just, <laughs> all right. Well, there it is, guys. This is gorgeous. Uh, there's a few sharp edges here and there. This, uh, this is going to have to be, there's a, it's like, there's a plastic plate underneath this metal one. And uh, I'm not sure what that's about, but that's going to have to come off and get uh, filed down. There's a rough edge on it right there. Uh, and this is a copy of a Strat. It's not a real Strat, but it's a copy of one. I've wanted a Strat, and uh, this is as close as I'm ever going to get to owning a real one, I think. Although I said that about a Fender Jazz Bass many years ago, too, and now I've got one that I've played for many years on stage and stuff. So, um, fretboard... A little bit rough, not bad. It's, it's workable for me. The edges of the frets can use a little bit of dressing, but really, this is very playable. Very much in tune, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, this is really, uh, really nice. Look, look at you can see the wood grain through there, and uh, you, you can actually see the reflection of the cuboid over there. If I aim it just right, there you go. Now you see the blue from the cuboid in there. So blue seems to be a theme here, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually impressed. And uh, <laughs> you guys aren't gonna believe I did not even pay a hundred dollars for this guitar. Uh, let me pause the uh, pause the recording here and uh, get it tuned up. And uh, when I come back, we'll uh, play a little tune for you, I guess. So uh, hang on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back after an inordinate amount of time playing around with the uh, tuning on this thing. I've not made any other adjustments on it other than just uh, the tuning on it. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, these tuners on here, that was one of the corners that they cut because uh, these tuners are, <laughs> to say they're rubbish is probably a, a friendly thing to say about them. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, get on Amazon and order a new set of tuners. Uh, these, they feel like you're gritting on sandpaper inside of them. I'm going to take them apart and clean them and uh, throw a little bit of uh, three in one oil on them to see if I can smooth them out just a little bit. Um, I don't hold a whole lot of hope in it, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and order a set of Grovers for it and uh, be done with it. They do seem to be holding their tune fairly decent. Uh, the intonation's gonna be a little bit off because I have not adjusted anything on the bridge. Uh, you can see somebody did a little bit of work on it, but I haven't touched anything there yet. I don't even, don't even have my wrenches out yet, so uh, that's uh, not gonna happen. So what I wanna do here is, now you can hear that the G is running sharp, almost a half a step sharp. It is right on, actually. I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the tuner is going to pick it up. This is a this is an application on a on a cell phone, actually. Believe it or not, it's a cool little application. It's why uh, Pano P A N O Tune. Uh, I like it. It's it's a very cool application. But you can see now if, if it'll hear the I don't know if it'll hear it all the way over here or not. Okay, G is right on. And if I go, I don't know if it's actually hearing that, but you can see how sharp it runs. Yeah, so, and I think the problem might be in the nut up here. I think the strings are running a little bit high up there, so a little setup work is not going to hurt this at all. Uh, the frets don't feel bad at all, really. Um, they feel a little bit unfinished, but they're not sharp. They're not, you know, for somebody who's just starting off, these frets are perfectly fine. Uh, for me, I'm probably going to polish the ends of them a little bit, maybe run a file over the top, some of them crown them a little bit. But really, they're not bad. You know, That sharp G string is killing me, though. See, without the G in there, 
well, actually A, <laughs> a, a flat, uh, G sharp, A flat. See, that's almost an A. Yeah, see, so the, the G is, is kind of throwing things off here a little bit. But uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the room microphone off. So before I do this, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to be moving the switch. Now, this is a selector switch. It's a five-way switch. selects between the three different pickups on the guitar. Uh, this position all the way down here makes the bridge pickup active only. No, none of the other ones are active. This is just the bridge pickup. And the second position up is the bridge pickup and this one. Now, something unique about Stratocasters and most Strat copies is that this pickup and this one, well, actually, this one here is wound in reverse to the other two pickups. Uh, if you picture these two pickups, this pickup here is wound going in this direction, clockwise, or yeah, clockwise. This pickup here being wound in clockwise direction. This one here is wound anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. And it creates a hum bucking effect, a hum canceling effect on these, and uh, it also creates kind of a unique sound. So there's the bridge pickup all by itself. And you go to the bridge and the center pickup, and kind of a thinner sound, but it's definitely got a stratty sound to it. Uh, center pickup, this is this pickup all by itself, and gives you, a, you know, basically a strat sound. Now this is the classic strat quack sound right here. This is the neck and the center pickup together, and of course, again, this one being wound backwards, they're out of phase, and this gives you that classic Skinnerd sounding quack, strat quack, that uh, signature sound. So like that, and then of course the neck pickup, this is this pickup alone, it gives you almost the Stevie Ray Vaughan sound. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, I'll kill the room microphone so you're not hearing all the looping around through the microphone and stuff, you'll hear just the guitar by itself, and I'll play a... Something like that. I'll play. Uh, I'm gonna take it down and then take it, walk it back up. So, and I'll do uh, do one series in each position on this. Okay, kind of a little, uh, kind of a little demonstration of what, uh, what the guitar sounds like. And man, I tell you what, it was tough to play that because that that G string being so so out of t out of tune is. Uh... And it's funny because I look at the tuner and it it is dead on on the tuner. I mean, it is dead on. It doesn't get any better than that. But for some reason, when it's up here. batteries here I got like four minutes left to run on this thing and uh, so um, kind of my uh, unboxing review and uh, kind of an indoctrination if you will of uh, this guitar this thing is gorgeous I mean <laughs> it's beautiful what a, what a nice looking piece um, in spite of what I have to do to it I don't think I'm gonna do anything to the electronics I am gonna look through it I'm gonna check the solder joints check the jack make sure that this this is up to par where it should be 
may need to replace a few things, you know, maybe some pots in there, you know, see, we'll see what it looks like in there, and, and if I need to, I'll make a video on it. Um, I can see right now that the bridge saddles are kind of all over the place. So that I don't know if you guys can tell that on camera or not, but uh, yeah, there's some that are, <laughs> they're just, it's, it's way too arched right now, and that explains a lot of the sharpness on the G-string too. I'll go through this thing and, and do a nice little setup on it and, you know, crown the frets a little bit. Uh, spend about three or four hours with it and uh, then the next thing of course replacing the tuners up top there This is going to be an okay piece. This, this is going to be an all right guitar, man I've, I'm gonna love this thing. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get out of here before the camera shuts me down I'm done. I'm down to about two minutes left. So I'll talk to you guys again real soon And of course as always until we talk again, whatever it is in life you do Keep on doing what it is you do